the world is so scarred from religion, you know. How important uh, are have Gael and Tess been in this in this yeah. album in, in the creation of this album? Um, in the album, yeah. Gael has been very important, and um, it's been an very interesting and mysterious for us to work with such a um, a virtuoso kind of musician um, who also has a lot of soul. Um, it's been kind of indulgent in a way, I think, the, the rapidity of our exploration process. You know, genres of music, it's like boundless, it's boundless working with him. And that's how we like to work, you know, in a, in a boundless way. Can you say maybe if you pick one song that you say, well, that's really something that will, that with him we could create this song, and maybe without knowing him we couldn't have created that song? Is there maybe a song you say, well, that's, that's how, what he brought and how he stimulated us? Maybe song tell young. the story of um, Broken Dishes from the farm. Um. The song Broken Dishes. Which is now called? Which is now called? Um, the Moon Asks the Crow. The Moon Asks the Crow. That number was seven on the album. Yeah. <laughs> Richest number. <laughs> that was um, written um, right yeah. around the time we released our last record. So quite a while ago and it was our first meeting with Gael. He didn't speak English and at that point um, we weren't having any discussions whatsoever. So it was a relationship based purely on music. And uh, that song came out of, I guess, pure inspiration based on the collaboration between the three of us. And since then, the song has changed. Um, but our journey has continued to be like, you know, little, very emotional bridges and many moments based on improvisation, which is, I think, pretty special and rare for us outside of just the two of us, you know, which is has been our journey. Was it a big step for you to do this? To work with someone else and actually in the creating process or was it something uh, that you had to do? Um, well, it was very easy and natural. We just, we just stumbled upon each other. And, but it was, a, it was a big change, yeah, from, from being just really the two of us. And, and um, even more than just the studio, it's really like become a very fam family type of uh, relationship and every night on the road after after we play we you know make make a lot of ruckus in the in the bathrooms of the venues like turns into a long a long um long jam session yeah <laughs> all like all night kind of every night and his mother was with us on the road too in the in the past year and she's um, a musician she's a percussionist Okay, so she actually and his played. cousin is also his cousin is also um, going to be playing drums with us. So he, he's actually from um, Reunion Island in the Indian Ocean, and there's a it's a lot of sentiment, musical sentiment, um, and family celebration that is like that we that was very appealing to us and and not, and like Natural. familiar too. So. Um, it's like the equal amount of his family is actually on the road with us, you know? So it's kind of like two families have, have come together. Okay, and well, you said the musical sentiment. What, what, is, what sort of musical sentiment can you, can you it's describe? It's the, um, you know, the, the party, the party free, innocent, childish aspect of, of music um, that comes from, from cultures that where everyone sings and dances and plays an instrument. And uses music to celebrate. 
I, I think we relate to that having really different musical backgrounds, you know? Her, um, Sierra studying classical music, etc. And um, me coming from a really different angle, like kind of just like singing the poetry um, in a more like troubadour kind of folk, folk way. And there's a lot of that. His family has a lot of like professional musicians and a lot of um, like a, a, a connection to sort of street musicians as well. Like, does that make sense? It's it's just, it's just like uh, all the different um, relationships to music people have.